Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's see how to trigger a pipeline based on completion of another pipeline all right so I have a couple of pipelines which I have already created for demo purposes earlier in this series so uh, we have one one called project online DevOps demo one and next one is the classic pipeline so the first one is the YAML pipeline and second one is the classic pipeline so for this kind of approach generally classic pipeline is not much recommended so i will go i will cover how to trigger a pipeline based on completion of another pipeline using a yaml and with the inside the yaml we have a feature called resource feature with the help of resource feature let's see how to complete this scenario all right so for what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the yaml pipeline and go into the edit mode Okay, let me copy this so this is my first pipeline all right and let me open a duplicate tab and let me try to create a new pipeline all right so there's a new pipeline that i'm planning to create So I'm selecting the existing Azure YAML pipeline. So I'm gonna replace this and save this. All right. Currently, this pipeline is not yet run. Okay. So if you look at my all pipelines, I have created a another pipeline too okay for better understanding i will rename this to demo 2 okay so this is our second pipeline and this is our first yaml pipeline demo 1 and demo 2 so our condition is to run the demo 2 uh, pipeline whenever demo 1 completes okay that is our condition so what we need to do is we need to go into the demo 2 pipeline and go into edit mode and we have to start using a feature called resource feature okay there's something called the resources okay with the help of this resources feature you can accomplish this task and then oops we have something called pipelines under pipelines we have something called pipeline you're gonna give the name um, name of the pipeline resource okay so basically demo one is my pipeline source right so that is the name that i'm gonna give you can give any name according to your requirement for better understanding right and then we have to give something called actual source okay the actual source will be the name of the first pipeline which is project online devops demo one okay instead of uh, two is our target pipeline uh, one is our source pipeline right so i have given the name called project online devops demo one and then there is an option called project if you look at this drop down we have something called project so the project is an optional uh, parameter if you if you your source pipeline is located in a different uh, uh, project altogether for example now my uh, pipeline is actually existing within the same project and under CRM Tiago okay Bef inside this so in case uh, if your pipeline if your source pipeline is present in a different R, uh, pipeline a different project then you need to give the project name here okay so for now it is optional for me because it is already in the same project so you do not need to give this and then you, you can add a parameter called trigger true so this trigger true will actually run the pipeline whenever any run of your source pipeline completes okay so with the help of this particular uh, block you can actually trigger a second pipeline all right so let me save this now if i go to pipelines you can see now 
both the pipelines start running and in my recent pipelines we have something called project on and devops demo one so now demo one will run you can see this is running now once the demo one the first pipeline completes the second one will start trigger okay now i hope you understand the condition right so basically our condition is we have to run the second pipeline once the first pipeline completes okay uh, so here in this scenario demo one is our source pipeline demo two is our target pipeline so once the source pipeline completes the target pipeline ran again all right so this is how you can trigger a pipeline based on completion of another pipeline in another word you can call this as pipeline completion triggers all right uh, so this is how uh, you can uh, do this using a resource feature okay there is another template uh, uh, yaml template feature also which we will see in our upcoming video but this is the very basic stuff uh, you want to understand with respect to pipeline completion triggers all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys in case if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section thank you